So my name is Melanie Webb. I'm a water quality technician here at the New England Aquarium. And I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what I do. We basically run the water quality of all the different systems. We run the major systems like the giant ocean tank, the um, Elasmo Brink touch tank where the shark and rays are, um, all the mammal pools, so where you have the seals. Uh, we do all those main systems um, multiple times a day, uh, every day of the week and then different galleries like the temperate gallery, the tropical gallery, those all get tested once a week. Um, we run a multitude of different tests. We usually do pH, salinity, and ammonia checks on every system at least once a week. And then we do all kinds of other things as well. We run uh, nitrites, nitrates, phosphates. Um, we do alkalinity and calcium tests if the system has live coral in it. Um, we do bacteria testing on all the systems that have uh, people touching them. So like the shark and ray touch tank, for example, um, people get to put their hands in the tank. Um, so we have to run bacteria tests on that to make sure that it's an okay level for humans to come into contact with. We also run bacteria tests on all the other systems as well, but those ones are have the strictest guidelines. So a few cool facts that we have about the aquarium is that all of our salt water comes from uh, Boston Harbor. So we bring in all the water if certain systems are uh, lower salinity than what we are looking for or what the harbor is that day, then we will add in fresh water as well. We use tap water for that. So for example, the giant ocean tank, uh, normal salinity of normal salt water is about 30 to 35 ppt and we keep the giant ocean tank at 22. So in order to get that balance, we uh, have tap water flowing into the system the entire time. So when we run ammonia for all different systems, some days we get over like 30 or 40 bottles of water from different tanks. So the ammonia test is about a 20 minute test. So we don't wanna to have to run that for every single system. So what we do is we set up a screening plate um, so we put each sample, so each, a little bit of gallery water, each tank water in each well. Um, and then there is three different dropper bottles that we use. And depending on the color that it turns, we know that there's more or less ammonia in that system. So this one right here is actually a bio seeding system right now. So they're actually adding ammonium chloride into the system to help feed uh, the biofilter. And so that's a good example of a very positive system. And then like these ones over here, since they're more kind of grayish, lighter color, those ones are negative. So we won't, we won't test those. I'll only run this one on the, doing the 15, 20 minute test. Um, so it's just a way for us to save our time, do time management, and uh, still able to check all the systems at once. So we also run bromine tests on all of the systems that receive ozone. Um, so that is the GOT, the giant ocean tank, uh, the shark and ray touch tank, and all of the mammal pools. This is our spectrophotometer. Um, it runs all the tests that we need it to run. Uh, right now I'm using the pour through cell. So in here there's a little cell that the water runs through and then there's a beam of light that shoots through it and that's what does the measurement. Um, so we'll use the regular water um, from the seal system and run it through and that will be our zero. And then this is the sample water that I put the, the powder pillow in, the chemical, to read it with. So it should be, it should give us a reading of about 0.06-ish. So now that's running through and the beam of light is reading the change in color. So 0.09. So for this system, we can have it go all the way up to 0.2. So this is a very healthy, uh, fine level for the bromine to be at.